Either way, once the tool is active, I need to specify a starting point. Before I do that though, I should define the height and width of the solids I'm about to create. So first, I will select the height option that appears in the command line. I will type 4 and press Enter to specify the polysolids height. Then, I will select the width option to specify the polysolids width. So I will type 0.25 and press Enter. After specifying both the height and the width, I can click to define the first point. I will continue clicking to trace the polyline and create four walls. Notice that once I reach the fourth corner, the last part of the polysolid object isn't created. To close the polysolid, I will select the close option that appears in the command line. 